I am Anil Kumar sharing with you a multiple choice question on vectors. We will consider angle between vectors. The question here is, if adjacent sides of a parallelogram are A equals to, this is I, plus 2J, B equals to 2I plus J, then angle between the diagonals is what? You need to find the angle between the diagonals. You can actually pause the video, answer the question, and then look into my suggestions. Now, let us uh, roughly sketch and understand what we need to figure out. So in this situation, let us say the vectors are A and B. Let's say this is vector A, and the other vector B is kind of like this. In that case, we can, we need to find the angle between the diagonals. So first, let us uh, make the parallelogram, drawing a line parallel to this on this side and on this also. So that forms a parallelogram, correct? Diagonals are, let's say this is one of the diagonal and this is the other diagonal. What we need to find basically is angle between the diagonals that is, let's say, let's say this angle, let's call it angle alpha. This is what we need to find. Now, if one of the side is A, the other one is B, in that case, what is that diagonal? So this is A, this is B. Therefore, this diagonal will be A plus B. Now, how about the other one? The other diagonal will be a minus B. Correct? So that is how you get the two diagonals. So let's call these diagonals uh, uh, A plus B and A minus B. So let's find what are these diagonals. So let's say diagonal 1 is vector A plus vector B. We are given A is I plus 2J. We can now add B which is 2I plus j, right? So these are unit vectors in i and j directions. So when you add them, you get 3i plus 3j, right? So that is the vector a plus b. Now what is the other diagonal? The other diagonal is difference of these two. So let's call this as a minus b. Okay, so this is the other diagonal. So A minus B will be 1 minus 2 will be minus I. And then 2J minus J will be plus J. So that becomes the other diagonal. To find the angle between these two diagonals, we have to find the dot product, correct? So, so basically, we are doing A plus B dot A minus B. Now, these are the two diagonals, right? So that will give us magnitude of A plus B times magnitude of A minus B times cos of angle between them, which we are calling alpha. Now, what is the dot product between these two? We can write down these vectors, which we have already found. Uh, this is the second vector, let's say. This is the first diagonal. So let's find the dot product between them. So we have 3i plus 3j, right, the unit vectors, minus i plus j. That should be equal to magnitude of these. Now what is the magnitude of a plus b? The magnitude is a square plus b square square root, that is 3 square plus 3 square square root. And magnitude here is 1 plus 1, correct? And this is cos of alpha. Now, when you do the dot product, you get 3i minus i as minus 3, and 3j plus j will be plus 3. So that is 0 for you, right? So 3 minus 3 plus 3 is 0 for you. This is 9 plus 9, 18. So you could write this as 3 square root 2 times square root 2 cos of alpha. Now, since this side is 0, we know cos alpha 
should be equal to 0 that clearly indicates that alpha should be equal to 90 degrees correct so option d is the right option for us which is 90 degrees perfect 0 divided by anything will give you 0 and cosine function is 0 for angle equals to 90 degrees so that is how you can solve such a question key here is to understand that the diagonals could be represented as sum and difference of vectors so this is important to understand so remember diagonals are sum and difference of adjacent vectors in a parallelogram is it okay so that is key to understand and answer this type of question i hope that helps feel free to write your comments and share your views if you like and subscribe to my videos that'd be great thanks for watching and all the best